Hey, it's Erin. If you're on a mission to build beautiful quads, this video is for you. First, I wanna talk about some of the nuances of building quads, and then we're gonna dive into a really great quad workout, something solid that you can add to your routine once or twice a week to get really great results. Now, when it comes to building quads, we're going to focus a lot on the vastus lateralis, also known as the quad sweep. So that's the outer head of the quad. And then we're also gonna focus on the vastus medialis, and that is kind of that teardrop. So these are two areas that look just beautiful when they're developed, uh, especially when you flex that leg muscle. This can be accomplished in a couple of different ways. Now, quads respond really well to heavy weight, lower reps, and lighter weights with higher reps. So it's really great to get a nice balance between the two. Now, when you're focusing on heavier weight, weight distribution in your body is going to be really important. And typically, when we're looking to activate the back part of the leg, the posterior chain, if you will, you're looking to activate hamstrings, glutes, you really wanna push your weight through your heels. The opposite is true, of course, when it comes to quad activation, you want to push your weight through the toes. Now, one benefit to training quads that you don't get with hamstrings or glutes is the ability to look down and watch them working. Now, you can also put a hand on your quads as you're doing leg extensions, for example, and really get a feel for what the quad is doing. Now, going back to our workout, this is going to be a really great mix of your compound movements. We've got some heavy exercises to start with, and then we're going to finish up with a couple of isolation exercises, one that maybe you haven't seen before, you may think is very easy, but it's going to help add mass to the upper leg, and that's going to also help with that quad development. So you want to think about adding size to the overall quad, so all four heads, and then you want to think about building up the icing of the cake, the quad sweep, and that teardrop. So without further ado, let's get into the gym, train some quads. Our first exercise is the front squat. Now with the front squat, you wanna think about grasping the bar using an overhand grip. The grip should be about shoulder width apart. And as you bring the bar to your body, the bar should sit in the divots of your shoulder and it should sit against the collarbone. Keep your elbows up. You're going to take a stance that is about shoulder width to one and a half times shoulder width. It's really all about what you're comfortable with. As you descend, think about either having a neutral weight distribution through the feet or you can think about placing your weight distribution through the ball of the foot. If you're able to shift your weight to the front of your foot, you're going to hit the quads just a little bit more. Neutral spine, flat back, and as you descend, you're going to get your upper leg to about parallel to the floor paused for just a brief moment and as you drive the weight back up think about driving the weight back up using just your quads really important that you keep that neutral spine and very important that you keep your elbows high throughout the exercise this is really going to help keep proper form save your back and it's also going to help place that emphasis on the quads Next, we're moving on to our heel elevated hack squat. This exercise, you're not going to go as heavy on, and you'll see why as we get into it. I've got a couple of plates set on the floor. They're pushed together, just got a couple of 25s here, and I'm going to place my heels on the plates. This is going to force me to push my weight through my toes, and you can either grab dumbbells or you can grab two plates. I've got a couple of 10s here, and you're gonna keep your feet close together. Again, weight push through the toes, upper body nice and tall, and you can almost use the weights to counterbalance your upper body. So if you tend to lean forward a little bit more, hold those weights out in front of you just a little bit more to make sure your upper body stays tall. Now, as you descend, you'll notice your knees are going to go over your toes. If you have absolutely no knee issues, this should not be a problem at all. And you're going to get extra range of motion due to the heel elevation. Now, same thing as with the front squat. When you come up, I want you to think about really pushing your weight through the toes and pushing your weight up using just your quads. 
Next, we're moving on to the landmine hack squat. Now, this is a very unique exercise, and this one is an absolute quad burner. This also happens to be our last compound movement. Now, if you're not familiar with this exercise, I suggest you try it with no weight first, and always make sure you're leaning against the landmine versus pulling against it. So, I've got a 25 pound plate on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate shoulders with each set. And once you're in position, I want you to think about scooting your feet forward, keeping your body in plank position and really accentuating the weight distribution through those toes. So I'm elevating my heels off the ground and I'm going to get that full range of motion. Now, as I'm descending, I'm pushing against the bar. As I'm coming up, I'm also pushing against the bar. If you do not have a hack squat machine, this is an excellent substitute and you're really going to love it. And you're gonna keep your feet close together. And again, I really want you to think about moving your body using just your quads. Next, we're moving on to leg extensions with a little twist. So we're gonna do a leg extension with isometric toes in at the top. So here, I want you to just go a little bit lighter and I want you to focus on extending the weight upwards. Of course, using just your quads. If you're wearing shorts, you can look down and see the muscle working as you get to that mid rep point. I want you to think about moving your toes in, holding that for just a brief second, returning your toes to perpendicular to the floor, and then slowly lowering the weight back down. Now with this exercise, really like to keep that constant tension on the muscles and make sure that you're turning your toes in at the top and it's an isometric hold that you do not have your toes turned in throughout the exercise. So this isometric hold is really going to isolate and target that quad sweep. And if you're able to look down, you can see it working, but if not, just go ahead and place your hand on that quad sweep and you can really feel it working. Our last exercise. You're probably not going to like me for this one. <laughs> it's a reverse Nordic curl. And all you need is just your body weight and a towel or a yoga mat if you would like. Now you're going to kneel on the floor with your feet together toes pointed and you're using your knees as the hinge point. So you're going to keep your upper body in that plank position and you're starting fully upright. And I want you to think about lowering your body using just your quads. So again, that hinge point is the knee and I want you to lean back, um, as much as it is comfortable. So I've got a pretty good range of motion here, even though it's brutal. Um, make sure you're keeping your body in plank position. Now, if this variation is too tough, you can always do partial reps or you can attach a resistance band and hold on to it and give yourself a nice spot with it. So with this, you want to do as many reps as possible and just use it as your finishing exercise. This is excellent for hitting all parts of the quads. And if you don't have access to equipment, this is something that you can just toss in to maintain your quads uh, if you need. My goal with this channel is to give you the information that you need in order to create your own workouts and to understand the why behind training. Why do we choose certain exercises? What do they do? And how you can piece everything together to create your own program. But if you'd like something done for you, if you want a 90 day program, you want to take the guesswork out of it, I have a ton of programs available on my site. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And good news, they're all on sale right now. Now, if there's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below. I'll make it happen. This is exercise demonstrations, diet, any fitness related question let me know. If you've made it this far, I love you. I'm proud of you. Please keep up the great work. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.